Hey staff, I am coming to you today. I am going to show you um, how I made my uh, soap dough balls, I guess as you want to call them, for the Galaxy, the Rainbow Galaxy soap. This was left over from the unicorn soap that I had made uh, a few weeks back. I realized it was tucked away in my corner of my counter in my kitchen, and I was like, hmm. What can I do with this? So I finally decided that, oh, yeah, that uh, freezer paper is not my friend. <laughs> um, so I finally decided to uh, go ahead and give my hand at uh, a Galaxy Soap. I've been seeing them around quite a bit, and they are pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. So I figured um, instead of uh, grading this up like I was going to, it was still soft enough and pliable enough to go ahead and make some, uh, basically some soap balls <laughs> for our planets. Um, so basically all I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. I was going to, um, I did talk through the making process and everything because I was going to just talk you through the steps as I was making it, but the video ended up being over an hour and 15 minutes. So, you guys, I'm just going to do this here, and uh, we're going to go on from there. All I'm doing is I'm rolling it out. I'm going to cut off a piece. Um, I love that cutter for everything. I love cutting my mouth and pour with it. I'm in here, too. I don't have to touch a knife at all. <laughs> It's not sharp like a knife, but it's sharp enough to get the job done. Um, the stuff was very pliable. I'm actually happy with the way it's set up and, uh, and everything. So uh, it was very soft. Not sticky soft to white like when I did the ears for the uni soap. Um, that was very sticky. Those, are, those ends were, the top of it was, was hard. It was like crusty, so I just cut them off. Uh, because when I tried rolling it into the soap ball, it was just not working. So I was like, I better cut the that top off. Uh, so anyways, we're going to, um, yeah, I'm going to show you some pretty cool designs um, that came about when I was cutting. You know me and my designs. I have to show you and I have to, you know, put it together to see if it uh, creates something. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, molding it and going to roll it into a ball. Not rocket science, people. <laughs> so soap dough is basically, since I'm, that's all I'm really doing here and, and everything. Like I said, I don't have to use the cornstarch like I did with the ears because this one was not sticky like the other one was. This one's set up a little bit more to where, it, I mean, it still was sticky but it was not um sticky sticky like it wasn't sticking to the paper not to my gloves or anything like that or my hands um anyway soap dough is basically say you have a soap base and you got your soap all ready to go and you're done you got your design your swirly swirl and uh your toppy top all done and then you have leftover soap all you do is put it in a mold and all I did with this, I didn't even put pay, uh, I didn't put plastic wrap over it. Usually you put plastic wrap over after you put it into the mold that you want, your, your extra. You put it into a mold that you want and then you put plastic wrap over it so that the air don't get to it to harden it up. Well, um, I didn't even put plastic wrap over this one because I wasn't expecting to use it for soap dough. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, the, like I said, the heart, the top is hard, but everything else inside is still soft and pliable and moldable, and that worked out pretty good. So, to be honest with you, you can either uh, put saran wrap over it or not, whatever you choose. Now, I did do, or I did have some from a last batch that I, I did do, and when I did put the plastic wrap over it, the stuff still got hard. So I, I'm not sure what happened there <laughs> because I did make sure that there was no air circulation or anything to it, um, but it still got hard. So, you know, sometimes you just got to play with it. Um, uh, plus, I think maybe the recipe might have something to do with it. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm not an expert in the soap, though. This is just what I've learned and have seen and read to do. So, um, I've had it uh, topped with saran wrap. It's still that hard. I've had it topped without saran wrap. And here I got pliable soap, though. <laughs> so, it is what it is. You can test it out for yourself and try it. Um, I did have my friend Coral. She put hers in a baggie. As long as it's not hot, because if it's hot, it might melt the bag, might melt the plastic. Or you can wait till it cools off some and then put it in the plastic bag. And her soap dough came out pretty good. So, you know, I mean, you just find the ways around it or find the ways that works for you and then go from there. Uh, but as you can see, I think, man, they all look big. But that was, I believe, the medium balls soap dough balls and now I'm cutting off the little slivers the thinner slivers for um, the smaller ones yeah these are, I'm going to show you some designs aren't those cool oh this was the top this was my first piping uh, batch for the uni uni soap and it just it was not setting up worth nothing I mean literally guys I it took me six hours you all know me normally my piping is within a half an hour and I'm good to go well this pipe this batch right here took six hours and it was still not even to the not even to performance standards of piping at all <laughs> So I finally threw in the towel, I made a whole new batch, and I was able to pipe my soap within that half hour making it. That one's pretty cool. That one looks like it's staring at you. But um, that one looks even more evil. So anyways, long story short, that soap got finished. This was what was supposed to be the topping, but it didn't make it that far. And here we are. So, um, yeah. So try it out for yourself and see what it is. Again, it's no specific recipe it's whatever you use for your soap if you have any extra over put it into a mold let it sit and just watch it and uh, go from there and hopefully you'll have some soap dough and then you can make cool little things and uh, yeah so if it's really sticky put some cornstarch on your surface and sprinkle some on the top and then you can roll it out and then use cookie cutters. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Or if you're really good with uh, forming stuff with your hands, like with clay, you could do this too. So, again, the possibilities are endless, everybody. So there are my little planets. All right, guys, I'm back. I am just now getting ready to... Um, blend up the my soap mixture here my soap base which is basically coconut coconut oil um cocoa butter shea butter uh, i believe olive oil and castor oil i think i already put the lye in i shortened the video down a little bit because y'all didn't need to watch all that um but i've been debating on doing a uh step-by-step uh, -step, uh, soap video you know from beginning to end if that's something that interests you comment in the comments down below and let me know I know I don't have one of those videos up yet on how to measure out your lye how to measure out your water your butters your oils whatever your heart desires I am using crafters choice and WSP Tonka bean noir I probably am not pronouncing the end of that right but it smells amazing and since this is going to be a dark soap this is my chance to use something that has vanilla in it because you all know any fragrance oil with vanilla in it well most of them turn your soap if you're using a lighter color and i also have to point out here wear your long sleeves <laughs> wear a jacket wear a long sleeve shirt do not do what i'm doing here i have my gloves on and i do have my glasses on because last time i did um i brought the blender up out of the bowl a little too high and it's just splattered all over my computer and my stove and everything else 
Now, when I did put this fragrance oil in, I yeah, you can't really see on the camera, but it turned to a nice neon yellow. <laughs> uh, that color right there is called Silver Coin. You can get that at Vicious Beauties on Facebook. Come on over and join the group. Um, so that's going to be silver. And then I'm going to use, where's that? Well, you'll see here in a minute. I'm using the activated charcoal for the black. Everybody asks me how much do I put in there. I don't even measure how much I put in. I just put it in until I get a nice black. What I have in there is a little medicine cup. You know, one of those little medicine cups, you know, you get from the little, you know, medicine bottles at the store. Um, you know, we all don't use them. So I have that in there and I dump one full cup in there and then I mix it up to see how well it does. And if it looks still a little gray, I add some more. It's good for your skin. It has great benefits. It helps. It's good. It's cleansing. It's good. Um, I'm not sticking no claims. I just know activated is activated charcoal is good for your skin. Okay. Uh, Any hue? Uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to put more in, which on the screen here it don't look like it needs it, but in person it was still a little gray. And I think it was because that fragrance oil did give me a yellow hue more than what the base color was already showing. You got to understand, everybody, everything in person is a lot different from what I see when I'm watching the video. And the colors just were not working. So now it works. <laughs> scrape, scrape, scrape. I'm just getting all the extra bits and pieces of the activated charcoal on the side. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do like an in the pot swirl. I'm just going to go all the way around the bowl. I started in the middle. Yes, normally when you have different colors, you start at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Well, here, since it's all over the world, it's the galaxy, right? I just went all over. And then you just put your spatula in there and give it a nice curly twirl. And you're good to go. You don't want to mess with it too much because you don't, black and gray are both muted colors and I didn't want it to get all jumbled. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of that gray, of that silver coin, and put it on the bottom of my mold. I hope you all watched the, um, the uh, lining of that mold. <laughs> I'm becoming a big fan of lining these molds, you guys. I, I'm not sure. I think it's easier for piping. You know, I love to pipe, and when I pipe, I pipe mountains. So it was easier to pull it up and out and put it on the counter because when it's in the silicone mold, I have to pull the sides away and it can become a pain in the. <laughs> So anyways, I am just putting along a little bit of the uh, silver coin to give me like a, like a glue for the balls, for the soap balls to stay. Don't laugh at me, guys, every time I say balls. Soap balls to stay in place as I go to pour the soap over them. That's what I'm trying to explain right there to you all. If I ever make the soap again, the one thing I would do is I would put the balls, soap balls uh, closer together because when I did cut it, I didn't get a lot of the big, larger um, um, soap balls. And now I'm just uh, putting the medium-sized ones in there, just spreading them out a little bit. You just put them wherever you want them. Right about now, I really didn't have any idea. I, like I said, I only seen pictures of so of the soap being, you know, posted and, and stuff like that. But I never watched an actual video of somebody making it. So pretty much, this is how I'm thinking that it's done. Um, it worked, <laughs> but yeah, they started to move around in the galaxy. <laughs> Um, so you just want to very lightly cover them balls. The soap balls. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. 
So what I'm doing is I'm taking a chopstick and just like moving them back into the little spots because they did move. My glue didn't really work. But that's okay though. It was a cool idea, I guess. But uh, yeah. Now you just go in there and place some more soap balls wherever you want to put them. And I was trying to put them in the empty spots where, you know, where I could put them. <laughs> So they weren't too close to the big ones because these are the medium size. And now I'm going to put some of the smaller ones in there. And you just um, put them all over. Like the galaxy. They're just floating all over the place. And now another layer. Very careful. Yeah, see, they, they're floating. Well, they didn't float. They just moved when I was pouring the top over them, which is fine. That's where the chopstick comes in handy. So you can just reposition them in there if you want to. I'm just trying to find little areas where I can uh, put them in and try not to move the others that are below. But you guys, you know, again, the soap is endless possibilities of colors. Endless possibilities. I just hope this gives you a few ideas on if you ever want to do one, that it can be done. I know I've seen some that are so exquisite. It's just like, how did you do that? And, uh, yeah. So just have some fun with it. It's yours and it's your creation. So, there you go. It can be whatever color you want. I did the black to represent the sky. I did a little bit of the silver, or I did the silver in there to just like, you know, um, you know, the little, like the clouds at nighttime when you see them up there with the stars and stuff. So I thought that kind of represented that. No, I don't know. Oh, I'm just using up the rest of the little bit of gray that's in there. Now, I um, I did not post the video of this, but I just did melt and pour uh, stars. Um, I used um, a pastel blue color that I have. Um, it's going to be presented this week in Vicious Beauties. And, um, of course, I used some uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, blue powder. Um, so these will glow in the dark when I cut, well, when you cut, after you cut them and then, you know, put them up in the light and then turn the lights off, it's going to glow. <laughs> I thought that'd be a cool little um, uh, add to the soap. Thank you, Marnie, for giving me the suggestion because there was not going to be any stars until she's like, you know, you need to put stars in there. And I'm like, okay. So we discussed it. She helped me figure it out. And here they are. I just put them in a star uh, silicone mold. I didn't fill them all the way up because they were really thick if you do. And just filled them halfway. And they gave me the perfect size star to place in there. Where are they at? I do not know. But you will see the cut. And I, I could have put more. But that's okay. They still look pretty cool. Again, you just find a spot to where I think it's going to work. And I will see you in the next clip. All right, everybody, we are getting ready to do my favorite part. Of course, I mean, besides my soaping, um, I love the pipe. And we are going to get ready to do that. And I just gave you a little peek while I was waiting for the piping to set up. <clears throat> I went and colored my hair. <laughs> um, I did uh, pull the black out a few weeks, about a month ago, and I just wasn't feeling it no more, so I went back to black, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with the brown. It, it did pull the black, and I did it at home. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> so, 
I didn't use any bleach or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to pipe along, you know, my normal rows here. I was trying to do like a swirl, but it wasn't coming out that way. <laughs> um, I'm trying to use this new piping tip uh, as that I bought. I think it's a new piping tip. No, maybe. No, it's the Wilson 6B. It's one of my favorite tips. You guys got to understand something. I have so many piping tips. It's not even, it's ridiculous. But, um, but this is, this is by far one of my favorites. And, um, I'm trying to do different designs than just, you know, the star. So, but they, they kind of look like poop. <laughs> but that's okay. It still looks, it still looks pretty cool. The finished product. Um, but I'm just going to put a, a layer, another layer on. I hope that you guys, if you haven't piped yet, I wish, that you, I hope that you guys um, try it out. You will see how much you will enjoy it. I know it can get frustrating, but you never know until you try, right? So hopefully I can give you that little bit of inspiration to grab that piping tip and that piping bag and make up some, uh, you know, a soap base and let it set up and pipe something. It's fun. Trust me. But then again, I know piping isn't for everybody. But you never know until you try. Now, I'm putting the dollops on here because you will see why here in a few minutes. Or maybe here in a few seconds. Because those are going to be for my little dudes. And you're like, what dudes? I don't know what the heck all those hand gestures are. Oh, that is a new piping tip that I have. Isn't that thing huge? Holy crikey. It's huge. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. See, I'm showing you now the difference between the sizes. It is big. That's the normal big star tip. And that one next to it, the little one, was the 1M. I will put the piping tip number in the, in the comment section. But yes, it's, it's a pretty big tip. It intimidates me because I'm like, I don't know yet just what I'm going to do with it. My scissors are wet. Um, what did I do with them that I put them in the wash? I don't remember what I did, but they were wet, so I wiped them off. Now, what I got here coming, you can buy at your local craft stores. You can even buy them at Walmart. They are the little candy owls. I know some are probably like, what? Well, you can put them in your soap, and when you go to use them in the bath, they will, you know, of course, disintegrate as a sugar. Or you can even take them out of the soap. So these can be used. You can find them right there in the baking section or the baking aisle. You all know where I'm talking, where uh, Wilton and everything is. They, they have so many different ones. They have owls. They have sunflowers. They have daisies. They have bees. They have a lot of different selections of what you could put on there just to give your a soap a little character. I thought about the aisles because it's nighttime. So they're basically like on their little perch, but then up in the sky. Of course, it's the galaxy. I understand that they're on top, but the galaxy is below. So just try to work with me, guys. <laughs> try to see what I'm trying to see. Now, of course, and these are candy stars. Again, you can find them in the same area. Um, so I thought that those gave them a little bit of uh, character as well to the soap. I'm just putting some little guys there on the front. Those are the end pieces anyways. So um, just sprinkle them all around until you feel like you had them have enough. And that's pretty much it. Again, those are just sugar. And they will disintegrate in water. And so it's nothing too much to worry about, guys. And they, these come in all different colors. You can get them in stars. You can get them in hearts. You can get them in circles. You can get them in um, a little pearls. The colors, they come in a variety of different colors as well. Mm-hmm.
This thing was heavy. I'm going to try to show you guys. <laughs> but it was heavy. Those bars, after I cut them, since I'm going to be done talking to you here in a minute, I cut them and they weighed 8.65 ounces. I was going to do a mica drizzle, but then I decided not to, which I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't. So the video is almost done. Aren't they cute? Look at them guys. They're just like looking at you. Every time I do something with them, they just stare at me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to spray these with uh, rubbing alcohol. I think I just did that. And now I almost completely forgot to put glitter on there. How? Right, Beth? Like, are you kidding me right now? I was sitting there just looking at it like, what else does it need? Uh, duh, glitter. <laughs> See, I'm debating, what else does it need? Oh. And I just keep on sitting there talking about it. Trying to figure it out. Oh, I was going to put the Mountain Poor Stars in there. I did go ahead and finish, I did put all the Mountain Poor Stars in the top. Because I was debating on putting them in there or n not on the top. So I did finish them. And I did put them on there. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you'll be able to be notified every time I upload a video. I have some new things coming up that I'm super excited about. I'm debating on going live for the first time on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to figure out right now how to do all of that and just get it up and going. It's not as easy as going live on Facebook. There's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo stuff that you got to figure out to get it all to work. So again, please give this video a huge thumbs up. If there is anything else you would do different or give me some suggestions, I would so much appreciate it. I want to hear your ideas. I want your comments. I want to know what you guys are thinking. And again, thank you for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I could not be doing this without you guys. And everything you're seeing here that I'm using, head on over to Vicious Beauties and come look at the micas. They are gorgeous, darling. Um, just go ahead and message me on Facebook. My name, Beth Santos. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you soon. Again, much love, everyone. And I will catch you on the next video. Much love, everyone. Bye.